Rakate Yahweh. Rakate Yahweh. Rakate Yahweh Shai. Rakate Yahweh Shai. Welcome to another lesson. And pretty much this lesson is going to be centered around Deuteronomy, the 23rd chapter. And uh, we're just going to, you know, try to make it as quick as possible. Just a few points in there. And um, and just take it from there. Because, you know, this is uh, pretty much is a controversial chapter. The first few verses, you know, it's controversial. Because most people don't understand and most people refuse to go into the original uh, language uh, that it was written in to get the understanding of, this, of the scriptures. So we're just going to go right into it, you know, if you could just read it. Right, this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter uh, 23, verse 1. It says, He that is wounded in his stones, who have his private member cut off, shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Mm -hmm. A bastard shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Even to his tenth generation, shall he not enter into the congregation of the Lord? Right. So now they'll try to. Some people try to use that scripture: "A bastard shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord." To mean uh, um, that if you have, a, if if you're an Israelite man and you have a, a son by by a heathen woman, then you can't come into the congregation. Well, that's a that's a damn lie, because when you go back into the history, you go back into uh, Ephraim and Manasseh. Both uh, Ephraim and Manasseh, both of their mother, their mother, which was the same mother, she was an Egyptian woman. Okay. So she wasn't an Israelite. But they, but but uh, uh, Jacob blessed them to come into the congregation. He said, Ephraim and Manasseh are mine, like Levi and Simeon are mine. Mm -hmm. You know. Then when you update it, you know, you go further up. Up, uh, 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 Solomon, uh, uh, his son Rehoboam, his mother was an Ammonite. Yep. You know, so you had different instances where you, and, uh, and then uh, King, as a uh, King yep, David, got, right? Got, yep. Yep. You got King David. Actually, his great grandfather, his great grandmother, was a was a uh, a Moabite. Ruth. That's right. Right. His great grandmother was a Moabite. So if that was the case, King David would have never been able to come into the uh, congregation. congregation. That's right. And then you know when you look up the word, that word bastard, it, it comes from the Hebrew word mamzar. Or you could say Mamzer, as they say Mamzer, um, and or ma Mama Mama Zar, or Mamzar, you know. And they'll and when you read it, let's see if it pulls up real quick. When you read it, it says, uh, "Bastard, child of incest, illegitimate child, bastard, mixed population, born of a Jewish father and a heathen mother, or vice versa." That's a goddamn lie. It, it's it's the, the the other part of it. Cause it says born of a Jewish father and a heathen mother. That's not true. It's born of a of a of a heathen father and an Israelite woman. That's who the bastard is. That's All right. right. So uh, you have some. Uh, and, I, and I was going to bring out the point. I was going. I guess I'll just quote it. I was going to bring it out, but in Genesis, uh, I think it's the 30, 34th chapter. But when you read about Dinah, mm -hmm. that's why it was a big deal. That's why the brothers got mad because. That was an actual bastard or a mamza that she was bringing forth when the uh, Hamite was dealing with her. Right. They didn't get that wasn't because they you know he, he took it he popped it. It was because he was of another nation. Yeah. He was a Hamite. He was gonna be bringing that Hamitic seed and you know. Yeah, and then you know also said he defiled they def he defiled it. Right. You know, but he would have if they would have had children together or she would have got pregnant. That that child that would have been an example of a mamza. Right. Uh, the Egyptian child uh, that cursed the Most High, his father was an Egyptian, his mother was an Israelite woman. That's a mamza. That's a bastard. You know. So you you couldn't come into the congregation of Israel if that was the case. And that's what that scripture means. Huh. All right. So now let's uh, uh, read on in uh, Deuteronomy twenty three. And if you have any other precepts, yeah, but I have one more precept okay, for yeah, you. Go ahead, bring it out. Right. <laughs> Because this is proved what the apostle was saying. Because the genealogy, you gotta understand, the genealogy is reckoned after the male, the man. That's right. The man carries a seed. That's very important when you're reading the scriptures and, and these verses. All right. If the woman, Israelite woman, lay with a man, like the apostle just said, another nation, then she's bringing in a bastard child, not the other way around. If a man, because the Israelite man, if he puts his seed in any other woman. That seed is still going to be a, a, a child. And that's why, you know, when you read this, I'm just going to read it real quick in the book of Numbers uh, 1 and uh, 17. It says, And Moses and Aaron took these men, which are expressed by their names, and assembled all the congregation 
together on the first day of the second month and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. Damn. According to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. So it said by their fathers, not by their mothers. All right, the pedigree, the, the lineage wasn't, it wasn't constituted on your mother because a woman doesn't carry a seed, the man carries a seed. That's why they reckon it after their fathers. So back again in, in Deuteronomy 23, right? It says, a bastard shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord, even to his 10th generation shall he, shall he not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Right. All right, so go ahead. An Ammonite or a Moabite shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. They, slack it, even to their tenth generation shall they not enter into the congregation of the Lord forever. Yeah, so pretty much an Ammonite and a Moabite, they, they're done. They can't even come into this thing at all, period. Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead. Because they met you with bread and with water in the way. Met you not. Slack it. Yeah. Now like you know it. what? Just jump down, jump down to the seventh verse, because we're just gonna hit the main points. Okay. You know. All right. Verse seven. It says, uh, "Thou shalt not abhor an Edomite, for he is thy brother. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not abhor an Egyptian, because he, because thou was a stranger in his land." Right. So it said, "Thou shalt not abhor Edomite," and then you know, and you notice Jake. They love this devil. They love the white man because the only person they got a problem with not coming into the truth is the so-called white yeah. man, the Edomite. You know, so they'll go to this scripture and say, "See, you should not not supposed to abhor an Edomite." Well, first of all, that's not the, the the word that's originally there. The original word that should be there is the word Aramean. Now you have to understand what it means by Aramean or Syrian, <coughs> because when you go back to the beginning in the table of the nations, one of Shem's sons was a Rum. But that it wasn't talking about that Aram. It was talking about the lineage or the line of, of uh, Abraham. Because Abraham's line, uh, uh, through his brother, they, they dwelt in that land after the, the Lord gave Israel the land of, of, of uh, Israel, after they came out of Egypt. So those people that were in the land of Syria there, those uh, uh, descendants of Abraham, those are the Syrians that this is talking about. You're not supposed right. to abhor a child of them. You know, uh, uh, you're not supposed to abhor them, meaning you're not supposed to avoid them. You know, even though they weren't being called Israelites, but they really are part of Israel because they came from that that uh, that line or that lineage. You know, you, you had some. Yeah, that's right. Now, hey, like the apostle said, that's what that's what it really means. You know, and that's why you gotta look up the words to get to get the, the meaning. You can't just go for uh, take everything for face value. Sometimes you gotta dig and go a little yeah, deep. That's right. You I, know, I got a quick one here. Yep. This is the book of uh, Genesis chapter 11. This is the book of Genesis chapter you. 11. Yeah. Um, you know, because uh, that, that goes into the history too. So you got to go into the history. You know, so it, it only makes sense because at that time, uh, Israel, you know, the Mosai, we were a Hebrew family. You know, Ab that's why Abraham was known as what? Abraham the Hebrew. Okay? And then uh, when you, another point to look at is that, uh, well, like the brother said, the, the, the tribes, such as uh, uh, Reuben, Levi, they dealt with, with, uh, with other, they weren't Israelites because Israel wasn't established as a nation. You understand? But the children that they had with the, the children of, the sons of Reuben, the sons of Levi, the sons of uh, Simeon, they were going to be Israelites because of what? Their father was, you know, Israelites of the, the, the patriarchs of the 12 tribes. You know, just to throw that in there to add a little more to it. Con, well, you there know? was a scripture. I thought it was in Genesis 11. But pretty much to let you know that, uh, that uh, um, uh, uh, Haran, I believe it was Haran that was left alive. They were the ones that stayed in, um, in the land, in that land, the land of uh, Assyria. You know, and they, they and that was a family that that uh, 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 Isaac told Jacob to go find his wife from, which is the same area that Isaac, you know, uh, uh, got his wife from, which was Re Rebecca. You know, so that line there, Bethuel, uh, Rebecca, they they were known as Syrian. Matter of fact, I'll just read that real quick. Uh, Genesis twenty five, and um, Genesis twenty five, and uh, just bear with me one second. 
and 19. And, and these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begot Isaac, and Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah, his wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian, of Padanaram, the sister to Laban, the Syrian. So they weren't actual Syrians. They were just living in yeah. that land, and they were being called Syrian. So that's where Isaac took his, his uh, uh, wife from. So that's where the Lord said, look, don't abhor the uh, 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 Syrian, the, the Aramean. It wasn't supposed mm -hmm. to be Edomite. That was something that was inserted in there. And when you go on back and you do the research, it tells you that that number H-130 was, was a, a, a clerical error. The word that should be there is uh, uh, Syrian, Syrian Aramean. Yeah. You know, that's why when you read the book of 2 Kings, the 16th chapter, where it speaks about the Syrian, it really meant the Edomite. You know, that particular land there, because that particular land was being fought back and forth between Judah and uh, Edom. You know? Yep. So that's, that's right. And to further to prove it, that that couldn't have been talking about Esau, an actual Edomite, is when you go to Hebrews, the 12th chapter, 12 and 17. Beautiful. Right? It breaks it down. Or I'll start at 16. It says, uh, least there be any fornicator or profane person, which the word right there, profane, profane means outside the temple. That's right. All right? Which, which is the same as being outside of the congregation. Any profane person as Esau, who for one more saw of meat sold his birthright. For you know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. So you know that the Lord had said afterward he would he, he was rejected. He could never come into the congregation. The Most High never was going to change and, and open it up for him to come into the, the tenth generation or whatever the case is. So you, that's how you know that that's not talking about about Esau because that would contradict the scripture. It says when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So if you if you were an Edomite, you can't you can't make it. All right, you ain't coming into the congregation. Now you got Jake, like it goes in Romans eleven and twenty six to update it. You got all these Israelites out here, so called Negroes, so called West Indians, so called Native American Indians, so called uh, the Latin tribes, right, of Negro and Indian descent, right? The Israelites, the twelve that make up the twelve tribes, they a lot of majority of them is gone, man. They bugged out, man. But they're going to be able to come back because the scriptures say in Romans 11 and 26 that all Israel shall be saved. So that's talking about what? In the kingdom. You know, like the scriptures say in the third or fourth generation, as we're going to read on, they can still come back because right now they're heathens, man. You got, they call themselves black, Afro-American, Kemetic, right? They call themselves by all these other different nationalities and names other than what they are, the Israelites. But because they are of that holy seed, they're going to die, but then they're going to be able to come back into the next the next third and fourth generation. Right. Right, as the scripture said. Con, so let's go back to Deuteronomy 23. Con, so now it says, back in Deuteronomy 23 and 7, Thou shalt not abhor an Edomite, for he is thy brother. Thou shalt not abhor an Egyptian, because thou was a stranger in his land. <laughs> mm -hmm. The children that are begotten of them shall enter into the congregation of the Lord in their third generation. Right. <laughs> so now it's not talking about the the uh, uh, children that are brought in by a, uh, uh, a heathen father and an Israelite woman, yeah. because the case of that the Egyptian son that that uh, uh, had an Egyptian father and an Israelite woman that cursed the Most High, they stoned him to death. Why? Because he was a heathen, you yeah. know. So it's talking about a, a man, an Israelite man that lays down with with uh, either a Syrian woman or or Egyptian woman, and they bring forth children, such as a case of a uh, of um. For uh, a uh, uh, um, uh, uh, J, uh, Ephraim and Manasseh. Ephraim and Manasseh, yeah. Because they both they had an Egyptian mother, you know. And but you can bring them in. But now in these times now, and then even back then, you know, you had Jake that was going off. They they were they were marrying the women of the other nations, which you're not supposed to marry right. them. And then when you had children, the children were learning the, the half the, the customs of of their fathers and half the custom of their mother. Right. That's the reason why, you know. Um, that's the reason why Nehemiah was cold kicking ass and yeah. busting their ass because they they were uh, uh um I'm, I'm gonna read it real quick. This is uh, Nehemiah 13 and um uh, uh, let's see uh, 23. It says, "In those days also saw I Jews 
that had married wives of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab. So you weren't supposed to marry these women. They were just supposed to be concubines. Right. And if you had, if you if you brought children in by them, you were supposed to teach them the ways of, of Israel. You know? Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, um, King Solomon, his son Rehoboam, his mother was an Ammonite. But he was taught in the ways of Israel. Yep. He became a king. So if that was the case, he wouldn't have been able to become king. So it doesn't. It, it's not because you have a heathen mother that you be, you are Mamza. Right. It says, um, and their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod, and could not speak in the Jews' language. They couldn't even speak their own language. Hmm. It says, but according to the language of each people. So they were learning the languages of the other nations, learning the customs of the other nations, and that's why Nehemiah got so mad. Yeah. Because you weren't supposed to marry these women. You were supposed to just have them as concubines. And if yep. you had children with them, you were supposed to teach them how to be Israelites because they are Israelites. Yep. You were supposed to teach them the laws, the statutes, the commandments, the, uh, the, the language. You know, the uh, high holy days, the different feast days. You know, that's what you were supposed to teach them. But, but Jake wasn't doing that because Jake was falling in love with these women of the other nations like King Solomon did. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, he, he uh, uh, caused them... Uh, 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 to worship the, the uh, uh, gods, idols and yeah. gods of the other nations. Built the shrines. And that's where the Most High got mad because he got simple in his old mm -hmm. age. Right? And it goes on to say, And I contended uh, with them and cursed them and smote certain of them and plucked off their hair and made them swear by the power, saying, You shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons or for yourselves. Meaning in, in marriage. You know, because first of all, a, 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 a Israelite woman is not supposed to deal with no other man but an Israelite man. But an Israelite a man can deal with a heathen woman. They can have concubines. Yep. You're just not supposed to marry them. Because what happens is when you marry them, you when you when you have a concubine, a concubine is just a woman. You go, you pop her, and that's it. Yeah. You know, you have a wife. You know, you, you pop your woman. You know, you have children with her. You you have you know a home. You build a relationship with her. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different things that entail on it. A concubine is just a sex toy. Yeah. Yep. That's it. Bad you, winch. You know, and Jake. You know, Jake. Yeah. Jake pops a woman and hit. They fall head over heels for you no know, because they they weak to pussy. Yeah. Especially you, you know? know niggas get get a white woman and they think they found God. <laughs> you know they are, they in the kingdom of heaven. You know, which it ain't nothing wrong with you. You're supposed to just dust that off and, and that's it. Keep it moving. Don't fall in love and propose, marry her, and she, you pushing a, a carriage with a, you know what I'm saying, a, a mulatto. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You thinking you, you know, you got the sweater tied around your waist. Oh, man. Skipping and shit, walking with a white, but not. With a bow tie. Yeah, you ain't supposed to be doing that, man. You know, but you, you deal with it. And, and, you know, Jake gonna deal with it because, hey, man, we love women. You know? We gonna deal with these women and, you, and chances are you gonna get her pregnant or whatever. You know, and the, the son that you have with her is an Israelite. Yeah. And if he doesn't wake up to that this side, he gonna, it's okay. He's going to wake up to it on the other side. Yeah, because regardless, you know? his spirit goes back to Israel. Yeah. I'm going to just jump down to the 27th verse. It says, shall we then hearken unto you? Because it said that mm -hmm. King Solomon, them outlandish women, caused him to go off. God. He says, shall we then hearken unto you to do all this great evil, to transgress against our power mm -hmm. in marrying strange wives? See, that's what it means by marriage, you know, to, to, to join together with right. them. Not just have sex, because you can have concubines. King David had concubines. Uh -huh. The most I, when, when, when he took uh, um, Bathsheba, you know, and he committed adultery. The most I said, look, if you wanted more women, I would have gave you more women. He had concubines, but the Lord didn't get mad at King David because King David had concubines. You know why? Because the Lord, the Lord said that King David is a man after his own heart. Huh? So you could have women of the other nations as sex toys, but you, you can't marry them. You and know? It's, it's that simple. That's it. That's it's it. And, and come on, lately, man, you see some of these, these Edomite, women, Edomite women, they never looked as good as they look now. They're looking good. They're looking to the point, you know, and, 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 and people get mad, but they put the nigga woman to shame, man. Yeah. You know, these Edomite women, they be up there doing their yoga and yep. Pilates and all that shit. And the, you know, they they doing shit, ass exercises to try yeah. to get a little bun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they I mean, doing it. They, they, do, they doing it, man. You gonna mean to tell me you wouldn't like to tear into that shit, man? Yeah. As an Israelite man, a prince of the power? Here it is. These devils done violated our women, but then we can't go deal with their women. Man. Are you out of your freaking mind? See, notice I... I, I you PG'd yeah. it, you PG'd yeah, it up. That's, uh, 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 it's rated PG. It's rated PG. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, pretty much that's it. Um, uh, can you read that again? Deuteronomy Con. 23 and 8. Con. All right, verse 8. Deuteronomy 23, verse 8. 
It says, the children that are begotten of them shall enter into the congregation of the Lord in their third generation. Right, because if they're following the customs of the other nations, they have to be uh, uh, revamped, rewashed. You know, they have to be cleaned yeah. up. They have to, they, their mind has to be brainwashed pretty much back into the truth give, give you an example yeah. you got a lot of a lot of guys they, they won't come into this truth because what they got so-called white mothers yeah they got eating white mothers well there's one guy yeah. that that that, I, that, I, that, I, that we knew back in the days he was a cool dude but his mother was an edomite he didn't want to come in see of that see look at that but that's okay because he's gonna come back in the third yeah. or fourth generation because he's an israelite. He's an israelite so they might not you know do you have children with these other women because some of you brothers out there y'all done laid down hell the, the nigga woman is of another nation right now man pretty much you know what i'm saying she ain't a judite woman right now i mean she's supposed to be a judite woman but i'm just saying the like way genealogy wise she is genealogy wise but the way these women they they don't act like israelite women they even poor pork uh shrimp scrimp scrimp lobster yeah all right so if you have children with these women don't worry about it they're israelites because you're you are the progenitor of of that baby all right of what that baby is whatever you are that's what your, the seed is going to be all right and if they don't come into the truth this generate don't worry about it. they'll come in in the, in the kingdom and they'll come in the next third and fourth generation that's in a nutshell what it's going into and the thing is because it jumps because in the, the prior verses we read it's talking about the other nations and Esau, which is the real meaning of the word Mamzar. Okay, but then in the, the verse down in verse 8, it's talking about the Israelite children that were born, brought in by other mothers, but they had Israelite fathers. They still could come back into the into the fold because they're still Israelite. That's it. Because they come, this, you know, the stock has come from the men. Yeah, you know? that's what they, they and they got to be cleaned up. That's yep. why you know the uh the uh the, the sentence of of the of the apostles on the on the israelite foreign as right. was to abstain from meats Beautiful. things strangle you know certain things just to get them back on their right path right just like when yahweh shai said you know when a, when a young man asked him what commandments should i keep he said you know you know the the, the so-called ten commandments why because that's a guideline mm -hmm. if you follow those and you'll follow the rest you know that's right and that you had any other no nah, that i mean that's that, that's the main point i mean we could go into other things on it too of course naturally but just you know a brother had asked about a question about it or whatever the spirit got apostle ron lab which is you know hey, you know we we do through the spirit of yahweh we always pushing out that edification because you got a lot of people out there this is and this is kind of a meat meat scripture especially yeah, if you're yeah. just coming in you know sometimes you know because you get all messed up you yeah. read that without knowing this and that's why you need teachers that's it you know because you got a lot of people that so oh, i'll pick up the bible and i'll get to understand it for myself and then they'll come across that scripture and be all bugged out and, and th be right. contradicting themselves man right. thinking that edomites could be okay when when the other part of the scripture the lord said it, they reject it yeah but then if you got your teachers which the lord set up which is the apostles uh, down to the rest of the brothers and all the other brothers that's coming in here because we all coming to be teachers but you got to be taught first and once you taught then you get the understanding oh that's what that means right and, it, and it, then after a while it's like okay it's simple it's easy that's it you know that's it you know and and you know we could have gone into a whole lot of other scriptures and breaking you know other things down but just wanted to make it something brief you know so you can right. understand and there's no scripture in the bible that 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 uh shows favor to esau because that was one of my other things i used to ask in in the past you know yeah. when, when they used to try to bring out dasha and the poor and i said well show me a scripture in the bible you know outside of that if you let's say that's what that says show me another scripture in the bible right. outside of that that shows esau any favors and there's none none because that's not talking about an edomite right that's talking about syrian and the and the the children that I, that I had with the Israelite father and the heathen mother, they're still Israelites. They could come into the congregation, but they have to be cleansed. Because a lot of times, you know, the, the child's usually left with the mother. And the mother's going to teach the child what they know. Mm -hmm. you, know? you know? So with that, you know, we hope you brothers have been edified. Right. To the next time we say, Shalom. Shalom, brothers.